now is a convenient time and this is just a mark for myself to tell me to change the video here at level two um, there is not so much emphasis on a path difference okay path difference is uh, we're going to look at in level level three path difference is actually the key factor um, when you're talking about um, the uh, the difference between constructive and destructive interference um, let me try and illustrate this. We'll go to this point down here. I think I did talk about this in the level 2 video, but it's worth recapping um, because the emphasis is big on level 3 on this. So the path difference, um, you've, at that point it's an it's a, a anti-node. You've got one wavelength, two wavelengths, three wavelengths. So three wavelengths from source 1. From source 2, um, you've got one wavelength, two, three, and then four wavelengths. So you've got three wavelengths and four wavelengths. So what we would say there, the path that it's taken uh, to get from source 2 to there, that's one path, and the path from source 1 to there, um, the path difference, PD, um, is going to be one wavelength. That's one whole wavelength. And what that means is the waves then arrive the waves then arrive, so something so it doesn't sound right about how I said that, but the waves arrive um, in phase. Okay, when they arrive at that point, at that point right there, which is that point of constructive interference. So the waves arise in phase. If we consider a point of destructive interference, I'm going to have to find a, a nice funky colour um, for you. This is sort of a purple here, we'll give that a go. Okay, uh, point of destructive interference, this, this point here, we've got a crest meeting a trough. If we consider the idea of path difference, we've got one whole wavelength from source 2, 2 and a half. So from source 2, it's 2 and 1 half wavelengths for the path. From source 1, you've got 1, 2, 3 wavelengths. Okay, so the path difference, let's just shift this a little bit, the path difference um, for destructive interference in this case is half a wavelength. And that means that the waves, you have to imagine this in your mind, the waves arrive out of phase. Okay, so a peak is arriving there at the same time that a trough is and they'll cancel each other out. Um, when they add superposition, that's the word uh, for adding waves. So um, th these are just two examples of each, but if you did an example, like hundreds of examples, it would become clear that um, whenever you have constructive, okay, constructive interference where an antinode is produced, there is always a whole number of wavelength path difference. That's key. Always a whole number of wavelengths path difference. But if you look at all the destructive interference cases, destru yep, there we go, um, you would find that there's always that extra half wavelength. Okay, so it'll be half a wavelength path difference, one and a half path difference, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, because that ensures that the waves arise out of phase. Do you see where that comes from? Okay, now. Um, there's a technical way of, of uh, stating this um, in, a, in a formula where you would say um, the path difference let's, let's see, there's, there's a couple of formulas but I'm just focusing on the um, path difference one um, we would say the path difference equals um, where are we, I'll, I'll stick with my colours that I've got but I'm going to have to shift a little bit further so when you're considering um, for constructive interference path difference is always going to be a whole number of wavelengths. That's where n is 1, 2, 3 and so forth, all your whole numbers. Okay. When you're considering destructive interference, your path difference is going to be, we would say, an odd number of half wavelengths. Or, we can put it like this, n minus half, okay, times by the wavelength. But in this case, um, I should, um, how do I separate that from 
This is not a part of the equation. N is equal to odd numbers only. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and so forth. Okay, Because that ensures, because uh, if you had, um, say, an even number, 2 minus a half is 1 and a half. 1 and a half times the wavelength. Um, if the wavelength happened to be, well, that's that's going to produce um, a non-interfering, destructive interfering uh, situation. Um, yeah, tr you can trust me on that, or you can see how the logic of this works. But um, yeah, no, we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. That's all in the level two video anyway, I believe, on interference. Um, where we want to take this now, though which is going to be the third video and again I'm just going to make a mark to myself to tell me when to change